it always amazes me just how quiet it is getting off of the train at Amsterdam Central Station got a little bit of hum of construction in the background over here we're doing some work on the bridge a little bit of noise from the trams and people are walking about going about their day but it's really quite amazingly quiet what's missing uh, blaring horns revving engines just got to love it. This is how a civilized society gets around. So just some of the uh, bike parking here at the Amsterdam Central Station. They are working on a massive underground covered facility. As you can tell, there's a huge need for bike parking in the area. A little bummed that the uh, the new indoor train station wasn't quite ready for my trip and we're gonna swing around and get some video on the other side of the station by the water let's go underneath the little tunnel and see what's on the other side You may have noticed there was some indoor bike parking to the left just before going into this tunnel. And up ahead you will see the ferries. Jump on the ferry and go see the uh, development on the other side there. And in fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's jump on. see some bike parking here this time side of the ferry and then that was it you just roll on get on the ferry roll off and now you're in this uh, newer community it's built up over on this side we've got some tall residential towers over here Some nice wide cycle paths. Some bus service. A 
and this is a part of Amsterdam that uh, any folks never explore get to know about. But again, a really easy, short ferry ride. Looks like a lot of new construction for new housing going on over here. I don't know for sure if this is land that's been reclaimed from the waters. I would not be surprised. Pretty chilly morning. A little uh, north of, I think, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. First thing this morning. It's probably in the 40s right now. Again, that's in Fahrenheit. I apologize to those thinking in Celsius. Let's just say that it's it was close to zero and is most likely in the low teens at the moment in Fahrenheit. Brisk, not yet winter cold. You can see some of the trees that have been planted in this area. These will get much larger and grander as time goes by. See some of the markets, the cafes just opening up. Getting their day started. And again, just reflecting on how wonderfully pleasant this is and quiet. I'm sure we'll get some to experience some noisier stuff, but right now I'm digging it. Got a large roundabout here. Not completely roundabout for us. We divert away from the, uh, the traffic go around <laughs> and again I like to highlight some of this area simply because we get away from Sort of your typical images that you get from the city center of Amsterdam. The images of the canals, the old historic buildings. The majority, I would say, of the city's population ends up living out environments like this. See the cycle path going right past the school. See a lot of their bikes tucked away in there. A couple locked to the fence out here. Looks like we have a delightful 
canal side route here. I just love these trees too. I get the sense that this was probably originally a road, a motorway through here, given how old these trees are. Again, the context being that really the cycle paths were not really constructed in, in the Netherlands until, in mass numbers anyways, until after the 1970s. So this was more than likely just a narrow motorway, a narrow road with these old trees planted here. Okay, this is a little odd. I don't really know what that was all about, but it definitely stuck out. And here's an older design with the pavers, paver bricks. See the old lights here. I don't know if you can hear the hum of traffic, but off in that direction is a motorway. Slightly out of sight. Helps keep the noise down. But I believe it, it drops down into a tunnel to then emerge on the other side of the water, the waterway. Yeah, look at this old historic area here. This is pretty fun. Here's the contrast for you. Some of the older buildings framed by the high-rises. Very cool. Neat juxtaposition. Easy for me to say with my cold lips. Juxtaposition. That's better. And voila, we're back on our beautiful red asphalt cycle track, heading back towards the ferry to get us across the waterway and back to Amsterdam Central. It's really all that easy. And you can see some folks on the left dragging their suitcases. They're probably heading over to Amsterdam Central to take a train somewhere. If they're flying out, they'll take the train to Schiphol, get on their jet airplane, and off they go. So, I hope you all enjoyed that little uh, tour this side of the water. There's much more to see. This is a very, very, very short taste of what's over here. I've been over here a few times in the over the years. And on the ferry we go. And off in the distance there you can see some of the skyscrapers being worked on. More residential towers. And at the top of that one, I don't know if you can actually see that, there's a swing. People are up on these swings. <laughs> Good fun. And off we go.
distance there you can see some of the bike parking right along the waterfront. Again, that large indoor parking structure for bikes should be helping relieve some of the pressure on the outdoor parking. If I remember correctly, I think it's six to seven thousand new parking spots. Hey, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed part one of my final day in Amsterdam from my trip in November 2022. And if you did, please, hey, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. I'll be back next week with part two of my adventures riding around Amsterdam. But until then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.